killing fields of Robert Hansen are spread along a five-mile stretch of the Knick River, north of Anchorage. By the mid-70s, it's estimated Hansen was killing as many as four or five women per year. He was obsessed, seemingly unstoppable. The template for Robert Hansen's experiences with these women started in 1971 with Patty Roberts. He kidnapped her in Anchorage and took her south to the Kenai Peninsula, where he raped her. The things that we'd done there with Patricia, Patricia Roberts before in the motel room there, uh, the time that we, we spent there, uh, excited me like I'd never been excited before in my life. I got to thinking right at that time, even when I was in jail, that, boy, I couldn't wait till I could do it again. Um, but she did everything she could for you. She oh, yes. Yeah. You. you liked it. Oh, yes. Yeah. Now, this was the first time in my life uh, things like this ever happened to me before, you know. By the mid-70s, Bob was out of jail. He had a series of bakery jobs, one at the Alaska Country Bake Shop in Muldoon, another at the Diamond Center Bakery downtown. And, of course, there was his own bakery, which he acquired in 1982, the same year he acquired his airplane. By this time, Hansen was living in Muldoon, close to downtown, close to the Strip. He was, in fact, too close to town. I'd drive up town in a hurry and sit there and just look at the prostitutes walking up and down the street. Look, I've gone all the years, I've gone in many, oh, many, all of the top of, top of, bottom of uh, bars and town and so forth. Uh, uh, the first gal is a gal that I think was found uh, by some power line employees or, or something to this effect. They found up here by a Klukna. Gentlemen, I can't remember if I picked her up in one of, as a dancer or if she was a prostitute uptown. I know I picked her up and the uh, place I was hating for uh, up a Clutton Road. There are several little offshoot roads. Uh, and uh, consequently, since going up there so much, I know where all the little offshoot roads are. That's where I was, where, where I was headed. Uh, as, a road, as you're going up a hill, there's a little offshoot road that's an access road to a power line up there. I drove down that. You, and right at this here, corner here, there's a kind of a spring or, 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 or seat. I was going to go down to this here and park, that's where I'm going to park my uh, truck down here anyway. Uh, as I come around this here seat here, uh, I got the damn thing stuck. And uh, as I was starting to drive the truck back, started walking down this way, you know, she started walking across that, that, uh, down the road, and I, uh, the, the, the door was open, and I uh, sort of halfway grabbed the steering wheel and the door and stood up, and yeah, I said, hey, don't go any further, uh, stay there. And she ran running this here way, and uh, I caught up with her. She had a big knife in her purse, and uh, she grabbed that out of her, her you know, purse and swung around, and you know what, I, I, I grabbed her, her then thing just got out of hand. And I can remember I was, uh, she was laying face down, and uh, uh, I just stuck her. The Knick River is a beautiful spot. Its origin, a glacier high in the Chugach Mountains, it ends up in the sea after passing islands gravel beds, sandbars, and willow scrub. The gravel beds are vast, and many of them provide a perfect place for landing a plane. 
Robert Hansen would soon be among them. After the debacle in Eklutna, Hansen needed to find another place to go. The Kinnick was nearby. It looked promising. One advantage, he could still access it using his truck. All right, uh, this is the old Palmer, this is the old Palmer Highway, or bridge here, I, I, I take it, right? Yes, yes, sir. All right, uh, as you go across the bridge, as I recall, I, I'm very certain it is the first road to the left. I was there in 1984, just after Hansen confessed, so the grave was still fresh. I will never forget it. The only thing is, I got stuck before I got there. And that damn thing just sunk on me, you know? And uh, I got out of the car again, and uh, looking at it, and I went back to the car. I said, "Well, let's leave that there. I was going to take her and put her out there because I didn't want, you know, someone coming by when I had her out. Then if she would start to say something uh, to uh, them, I'd have not only her to con uh, contain, but I'd, I'd have more more people, you know. Then all of a sudden, she just turned uh, turned around and." Uh, trying to scratch me in the eyes and fight with me and so forth, and uh, 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 it just went from bad to worse, and that was it. By this time, Hansen was no longer using his truck. That was too fraught. No, he was using his plane now. He could fly wherever he wanted. But there was one problem. Other planes. Other pilots. Uh, anyway, I landed here and pulled down here and in a ways and stopped my airplane. Uh, and got her out and so forth, got the handcuffs off and just took her by the arm. I said, uh, this is where, where we're going to spend the day, you know. God damn, a damn plane come down the, the river. Remember, he, he, uh, he, he, he came, he came from, from, from up river. He made a pass around. I thought, oh, shit, son of a bitch is going to stop. Just done everything she could to do exactly what I told her so that there wouldn't be a problem. I think I had her convinced of this. Uh, but the problem was, I think when she was there in the meat shack, maybe I should have called her the meat shack to her. I know when she got come back there, just started walking out of there with her, with her, she started screaming, you're going to kill me, aren't you? You're going to kill me. I said, no. I slapped at me and she, uh, she started running, you know, she started running the, and I, I, I caught, I caught up to her, but, uh, she had got hysterical, and I couldn't get her calmed down. And uh, she broke away, uh, away from me again, and uh, started to uh, to run. You know, I just reached back. You know, uh, the rifle was uh, laying there. I ran and called and caught her again. And I said, "Now look," I said, "Don't make a bad thing worse. Don't." Stop, you know, it's okay. But then I had a gun in my hand. And I said, oh, you're going to kill me right now. And then she uh, it just went completely, things just went completely bad again. That son of a bitch hadn't flown over and hadn't circled in there, it would have never happened. Uh... What Hansen seemed to want was a repeat performance of his experience with Patty Roberts. Although, it must be said, it wasn't that great for her. Never mind that he had to kidnap her at gunpoint, put her in restraints, take her deep into the Alaska bush, and then terrorize her along the way. 
before raping her. He was trapped by his obsessions. He'd captured them, but could not keep them, and could not let them go. It got to the point where he was shooting them multiple times, with multiple weapons. He'd empty out one gun and empty another, and then he'd take out a knife and savagely stab them. They hadn't been raped. They hadn't been molested. They were fully clothed. In the end, he just took them north and killed them.